Hi ho friends, welcome back to another video where we look through a bag of my thrift store finds. Most of the things that I find I get from the Goodwill bins, the Goodwill clearance center, whatever you call it. Um, if you don't know what that is, go back and watch my video number one where you can learn what it is and how it works. The first thing that we have up today uh, might be boring to you, but I was very excited about it. It is a hoodie sweatshirt with the Kodak logo on it and down the arm. It's a big sweatshirt uh, and I wear big sweatshirts all winter long. So get yourself ready because as soon as it gets cold here, I will be wearing a big old sweatshirt all winter long. It's all I want to wear. So I was really excited to find this one for myself, which I will be keeping. Um, it looks like the vintage logo, but it is a 2019 sweatshirt. I don't know who makes it other than Kodak. It does have the Kodak um, logo and stuff inside. So I'm um, just going to wash it up and get prepared for winter. I am very excited because I used to live in Rochester, New York, which is where Kodak is. Okay. Next up are a couple of books. Now, I don't buy a ton of books. Um, I don't want to be selling things for three or five dollars and there's just a lot of books that go for that price range. Um, but one thing that I will always pick up is Muppet Books. This is Miss Piggy and the Big Gorilla. Um, I don't already have this book, but I probably will not keep it for myself. I will put it with other Muppets books and form a lot and sell it that way. Um, I usually try to only pick up books if I think I can make at least $10 on it. I bought this one, The Complete Book of Flower Arrangement. It's a vintage book, as you can see, and it's in very nice condition. It also has photographs inside, both color and black and white, and I've had really good luck with... Um, any kind of guide or teaching book, um, especially for hobbies and that sort of thing. Uh, maybe not science and history and that sort of thing that would be outdated by now, but definitely things that you can still learn from. Um, lots of like guides like these are the butterflies of the Northwest and some, some stuff like that. So um, I thought this was a really good one, so we'll have to see. Um, what I can get for that. It's actually really heavy for its size. I think that the photographic paper that they were using um, is like very, very heavy. Deceptively heavy for its size. Okay. Okay. Here's something I bought. <laughs> and it actually is... I think all in here. I mean, I don't know how to play the accordion, um, so I have no idea if this thing works. But it has buttons. It doesn't seem to have a place to put any batteries. It does make noise. I don't know if it it doesn't seem to be doing anything with the keys while it's making the wheezing noise. There's these things over here. Um, it looks brand new. I don't know what it's worth. I did not look it up. Um, I just shoved it into my bag. It still has its original box. I don't know if it's vintage or new. I have no information about this. And that's just one of the things, like, at the bins, it's fast, it's furious. So if you are hesitating too long, you're going to lose out. So if you think that there's something that you might want, just toss it in your bag and keep working. Um, and so I'll have to, like, do some research on this um, piece. It has straps. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I think... 
you know, you strap it to yourself, right, on the shoulders. I really know very little about an accordion. So we'll see what happens with the accordion. Um, I really couldn't say. I just have to research it a lot before I list it for sale. Original box. Okay. Next thing that I got is a leapfrog. Do we remember leapfrog? It was like um, discs, I want to say. Is this a CD for um, like a video game console sort of thing uh, for preschoolers or young kids to learn? Um, and this is Bear in the Big Blue House. How fun is that? I did look this up um, and comp it before I bought it. Um, so I, I know that I can make enough money to make it worth my while. But I'll open it up and make sure everything's inside. Um, but it does look like it may not have been opened before. So we'll see. Learning. Okay, the next item was gifted to me by a friend. Shout out to Adam and Darcy. This is a Swatch watch from the 1994 Olympics in Atlanta, I believe. And it's still in the package. One of the coolest things about this is that over here on the side, there's a little slider and it goes through the years 1984 to 1994. I mean, 1894 to 1994, right? Um, and it has like a little animation situation on the side, which is very cool. A lot of information about the Olympics on the packaging. It's Watch Watch. Now, if you grew up in the 80s, early 90s, Swatch Watch was a huge deal. You had to have a Swatch. Um, I did have a swatch. Uh, I forgot about it. I think that I repressed it because it wasn't great and it was sort of a letdown, honestly. It was just like very light pastel pink. You know, if you want a swatch watch, you want something that is very loud, real bright, lots of crazy graphics, um, and mine was just pink. Um, so I just repressed that, put it away, forget about it. I never had a swatch watch, in fact. I'm still waiting for the perfect one. Okay, let's bring the rest of this bag up on my lap. Oh, right, so here's this purse. This is a Disney purse. And on the side, it says, good as Evie. Uh, this is gotta be from a show that I don't know anything about, so I'm gonna look that up. But I thought it was like a very cute purse, really really cute design Disney and if you're wondering if I am the girl who will buy single Build-A-Bear shoes now you know I am that's a girl that I am and yes I have made several pairs that way over time biding my time collecting the single shoes Another thing that I pick up are vintage um, picture frames. These are small, but I will do all sizes. Um, people really like a vintage frame, and so do I, honestly. I keep some of them for myself. I think that you know that I always pick up Little People stuff. Fisher Price Little People, uh, now made by Mattel. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's new or old. All of the years of Little People are great. And I got two that are really adorable that I wanted to show you. A pig in mud. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> he has like mud on him and he just looks really happy. And then one of the fairies from Sleeping Beauty. How cute is she with her tiny little wings? can't remember their names right now. It's not Meriwether. She's the blue one. And as you know, I do like to pick up supplies whenever I can. 
And these are sheets for a lint roller. I use lint rollers all the time because everything that comes from the bins is covered in pet hair and glitter and dust. So lint rollers are something I use all the time. Um, also something that's fun personally for me to find is Yankee Candle stuff. Um, these things are expensive. So if I can find a little Yankee Candle for basically zero dollars, I'm in. This one is home for the holidays. I love my holiday scents. Very exciting. Okay, so I'm not sure how many of you are going to remember this, um, but this was a toy line from the 80s called Precious Places. And it was all pastel plastic houses like this. And they do, they do look like little doll houses inside. This one has like an actual light and a place up here to put batteries. I don't know if it works yet. We'll have to see. But this was based on the idea that the dolls had magnets in them and that different things could happen in different houses because of magnets. And you had a little wand that looked like a key that you could run underneath the houses and underneath the sidewalks to like pull your dog your dolls along um and that's what this is right here there's a little magnet there on the door so you can open it up for them and then you can bring them right into the house via your key running underneath um i just love the look of these it's very very detailed um on all of the decals the design work is extremely detailed it's very victorian um and the colors are just so pretty um, I didn't have any of this line, but I thought that they were very cool. And I find them once in a while, like not a whole lot. They're kind of rare at this point, but still very cool. Uh, I tend to pick up Disney stuff. Not all Disney stuff, but I take a look at it. Um, run comps. I got this. This is a Minnie Mouse bank I think oh yeah bank right here and it's rather large I don't know if it has a date on the bottom I don't think it does no it does not but very bright very vibrant would be real cute for a kid's room and it is made of like rubbery plastic a lot of stuff I have to do research on. I'm trying to get better about doing research before I leave. So any of the things that I'm not sure about, um, that I'm not sure I want to buy, I put in a different part of my cart and leave it till the end to like look up comps and stuff so that I can keep going um, in the heat of the moment. Um, so I'm just throwing stuff in my cart. Some of it goes into the absolutely buying it part and some of it goes into the look up later part. This went into the absolutely yes right away part. This is a Washington football team um, doll from the days of yore. You can tell it's from the days of yore because this looks like a Native American and that's what they used to have as their logo. That changed very recently. This is a licensed NFL product and anything having to do with teams um, sports teams always sell pretty quickly for me and uh, I live in Virginia so Washington um, this is Washington DC not Washington State um, that stuff abounds okay the next thing I have never seen before but it is a vintage applause plush and it is a teddy bear on wheels and it does roll along it has a pull and I just thought he was very nice um, applause from the 1980s 1990s um, this one is 85 is really well done a uh, very quality stuffed animal so there's that guy now this thing I thought was something, it turns out it's something different, um, slightly I guess. This is a Littlest Pet Shop, and they do have some that are in this large size like this, which I have found before. 
This one, however, has a place for batteries and looks like it has sound and has an on and off switch. I don't know. I didn't mean to get into this kind of a scenario with Littlest Pet Shop, but I will do my duty, put batteries in it, see if it does whatever I'm sure very annoying thing it does, and go from there. And then I found some <laughs> My Little Pony. I am not doing G4 Generation 4. That's the My Little Pony that is happening right now. I try to do uh, G3 and lower. I'm not even sure if all of these are G3 and lower. But um, I found a bunch of them. This one's wearing pants. Which I've never seen I am old enough that G1 My Little Ponies, Generation 1, is the ones that I played with and were in the store when I was younger. They had regular clothes made of fabric. Um, this is new to me. This is like a snap-on pant. It has like a belt buckle and they just sort of peel off and then you kind of snap them back on. Um, trying not to be judgmental about that, but, you know, G1 is very clearly the best. Um, this looks like Rainbow Dash, which I think wasn't introduced until G4. I don't know, but she looks very fancy with her marks. Um, so we'll see. It, it takes a lot of looking up because there are one gazillion My Little Ponies. Um, I have some really good websites that help me determine which ones I have and what years they're from if they're not marked correctly. Um, so I actually enjoy looking that stuff up. Call me crazy. Um, but I think that that is it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I want to encourage you to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Um, and leave me a comment below. Let me know what my little pony generation you are. Let's get into a discussion about which one is better. I think we know which one's going to win, but I'm just saying I'll let you say your piece if you'd like to. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and go out and find treasure. See you again soon.